defend her. So, who do I root for? America or one of those countries I learned about at the food court? How about those guys? No, they're from the Republic of French Stereotypes. Everybody hates them. Oh, let's check on Hermes. All this inspiring multiculturalism is ang arguing about my blood. Sweden, I don't think so. Go on, stick. Touch me. Can't do it. Husband, you haven't been Olympic class limbo for 20 years. Quit lying to your party self. It doesn't seem like Jamaica will be able to, to feel the strong limbo team without you. Yeah, it's basically all Jamaicans do. Jamaicans have other interests, which is why the limbo team got detained at the airport. That's why they begged my husband to step in and make an ass out of himself. And I said I'd try my very best. But have they seen your, you know, physique since the old days? I described it to him over the phone, using a series of artful euphorisms. Don't worry. The fat pig will do fine, thanks to this flabble dynamic spandex bodysuit I've designed. It redistributes his weight, shifting his entire gravity closer to his knees. Ooh, that's snug. Oh my god, I haven't, those haven't descended in years. Now that's a limbo where's body. You're that fine Jamaican bacon. Shut up, Zoidberg. The robot bending events is starting. Somebody tells me I could easily beat those trained professionals. Wow, that guy must have to be like the world's greatest bender. My dreams of glory died before they began. Welcome to my life. Homies Conrad, is it true that inside you dumpy little fat man... Barbados Slim, what are you doing here? Last time I heard you were not Barbados. Yeah, I'm going back there with a gold medal draped around my elegant Caribbean shoulders. Your body may be perfectly sculpted as it was 20 years ago when you whooped my fat ass every time we met, but today I feel lucky. I see you're still able to limbo under the bar of fashion sense. Ha 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 ha. That's it, Barbados Slim. You've gone... One tuck over the line. Limbo words. On your marks. Skid rubbery. Limbo. There they go. Papito Slim makes an early lead. God, I hope he wins. What's this? Hermes Conrad is closing the gap. He's limboed out of retirement straight into my heart. I say, go to hell, Barbado Slim. Go, bodysuit, go. Go. Come on. Come on, Hermes. Beat that mahogany god. It's Barbados, then Conrad. Conrad pulls ahead. Conrad is disqualified. Barbados Slim, my hero, takes the gold. Ah, oh, there they are, Hermes. You did your best. If you wanted a human Adonis for the husband, I'd have stayed married to Barbados Slim. Well, enough about Hermes. I couldn't win a medal either. Even by Bandy, the thing I was built to. I'm so embarrassed. I wish everybody else was dead. Up next, the female bending competition. Fembots? <gasps> Me thinks the clever manbots suitably disguised might win those events. But the charade will require subtlety, nuance, grace. What do you mean I'm not registered? My name is Coyla. I'm from Rubonia. Coyla's a chick's name. Yes, but Rubonia sounds like something somebody made up on the spot. Ever been beat up by a guy dressed like a chick? <laughs> And it's straight. Colette wins. Another gold medal for the spunky maid of Rabonia. A perfect bend and a flawless entry. No splash at all. Perfect scores. A record five gold medal for Colette. I'm great. Everybody else sucks. Except that guy, Bender. He's really something. Woo! You actually thought they'd let you walk away without an engine oil sex check? Oh, God, I'm never going to get my medals. They're all I had to remember my Olympic career. Wait, I got it. Professor, make a woman out of me. Oh, I think that we should just stay friends. <laughs> I don't need friends. I need a sex change operation. Give it to me now. Bender, a robot sex change is a complex and dangerous procedure. 
Replacing your testosterone oil with fembot lubricants can cause wild mood swings, and the effects may be irreversible. Well, let's get started. No, you can't. If you even have the slightest respect for the dignity of women. I don't. I'm sorry, ladies, but I must do this. Not for you, not for Bender, but for the proud people of Robonia. Come on. I can't watch this because it's creepy and wrong and sick. However, I will watch out of curiosity. <laughs> Quiet. I'm about to begin the process of reshaping Bender's body into a tender, delicate form. He starts hitting Bender's casing with a sledgehammer. <laughs> ow! 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 Draining male oil, infusing female oil, removing item. He holds the shears around Bender's antenna. Fry ranges his Bender's antenna snipped out. Uh -oh. We can't wait for Coyla any longer, damn it. I need to get some to watch zombie Osborns. I'm ready for my test now, boys. Hell, hell, Rebellion. A land I didn't make up. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. Boom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on. We're kicking. That's it. Shake it out. I don't know which I'm more enraged or disgusted. I'm just here making us ladies look good. <laughs> yeah. You're making us look like jerks in front of other genders. But you're not really a lady anyway, right? Of course not. Dear Lord. A coaster. The thems oil must have been sucking gooseyly into your processor. Then change me back. My breaths are keeping me awake at night. Anyway, hello? What? A guest spot on Late Night with Humorbot 5.0? I'd love to. My own limo? No, I don't have my own limo. You better send one. I need a rain check on that. Nad Swap, Professor, I'm going to be on TV. Come on, Fry. Help me pick up my pantsuit. <laughs> this is weird. So, Calculon, do you want to set up this clip for more of my circuits? No, I think it's self-explanatory. Funny story. The script called for me to say yes, but I gave it a little twist. And it don't accept it. Snappy comeback not found. Please put your hands together for my next guest, winner of five Olympic medals, Colette from Robonia. So, Colette, how many robot pinbots wish to emulate you? Any advice for them? Yes, human bot. If you ask me... Women today are too stuck up to go out and jiggle their jello like everybody wants them to. In fact, should I do it now? All right then. Woo, woo, look out, baby. Work it out. Shake that thing. You got to use it, lady. Shake it up a little. Look at that. Come on. Work it out. <laughs> so creepy. Madam, I'm one impressed celebrity. Oh, well, I bet you say that to all the five Olympic gold medal winning fembots. From this day forward, I shall do whatever possible. Golly, what? Colette, this may be presumptuous. That's my favorite kind of this. <laughs> but I would be honored if you would join me for dinner sometime. Calculon, you would be my fulfilling this naive Rebellion Farmville fantasy. Of course I would. This top makes me look fat. Is it trampy to go on first date nude? Yes. Perfect! You gotta tell me, you're not actually attracted to Calculon, right? And if you are, don't tell me, are you? Certainly not. But just once I'd like to eat dinner with a celebrity who isn't bound and gag. Is that so much to ask? Well, I think you're dating a man bot is a disgrace, and I refuse to be involved. Anyway, you have too much lipstick on. Are you kidding? I need more lipstick. Much more. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Not alone when you really glob it on. No, they don't. No way. Ah, please. Every man wants to sleep with a tramp. No wonder you girls aren't married. I'll tell you, men are so much better at being women. <laughs> but what if he wants to... I mean, what if he tries to, uh... Bury what? I'll just tell him I need a compliment first. I'll stick a potato in his tailpipe. Good lord, man, what kind of temporary woman are you? Look, why don't all of you just go back off? Can't a girl enjoy herself without being judged? 
Oh dear, her mood swings are getting wilder. She's becoming a slave to her emotions, just like all women, particularly you, Leela. <laughs> I'm worried about him too, Professor. Hey, ma'am, you sure can put it away. You saved me the trip to the dump. Bam! I'd appreciate it if you didn't bam the young lady. Well, I'd appreciate it if I did, so I guess we're even. You know, Corlette, I've never met a woman as fascinating as I am. You're such a sweet, soft fembot, and you have this free spirit about you. And there is, it's as if you understand the male mind better than I. I've never met anyone like you. Oh, yes, you have. Corlette, I'd like to spend some quality time with you. What? Oh, well, no way, not gonna happen. What kind of girl do you think I am? <laughs>